You guys remember last month when Nori said he could never interview Cuban Link because of his relationship with Joe? Well, Nori is back at it again, addressing Cuban Link in that situation. Man, wrote a clip. No, it was no, no, this show here, with Matt Hopper. Hopper. Yeah. So what I said was just because of my friendship with Joe, I couldn't interview certain people. That has nothing to do with Illuminati. No. <coughs> but it's respect. It's just a friend thing. I have no disrespect towards the other other person. You, but you know why? I'm gonna tell you why people get it confused. Because you often say you're a journalist, and this is why I always say, stop yeah, saying I'm not that. a journalist. Stop saying that. <laughs> I'm not a journalist. We're not. Journalists. I never said I was a We're journalist. Not journalists. I do journalist shit, and I'm richer than a lot of them journalists. Nah. But fuck that. Nah, nah, relax, I relax, ain't relax, no relax. journalist, <laughs> motherfucker. We're media. We're media. We're, We're media. We're not journalists. You, you I've mean, never said I was a journalist. No, no, no. I just said I, don't I do it. journalist <laughs> shit. And guess what? My relationships is more important than this. Now, there's a couple of takeaways from this video. One, he says he's not a journalist and claims that he's never said he was a journalist. DJ EFN knows better because he's heard him say it and we've all heard him say it. But to be fair to Nori, I do think he started getting more amped up in this clip because he's known he's said it multiple times. Again, I'm just trying to be a journalist. I'm saying, you know what? We just won an award. I want people to know that we won the award because we deserve it. Six years of this, I don't have the excuse of, that I'm not a journalist. Um, as a black man, I, I feel like I failed. As a uh, human, I feel like I failed. But as a journalist, I succeeded because as a journalist, you're not really supposed to have an opinion. You're supposed to let people talk. You know, I've been the guy. I've been the guy that they, they, they said blackballed. You know, I've been the guy that they didn't let in Hot 97. I've been the guy that wasn't allowed in MTV, BT Studios, Viacom Studios. So I've been there. So I, I was thinking of that. I was thinking, I said, you know what? I, I felt like I was blackballed before. So let me let me, let me let me let this guy speak. At the end of the day, as a journalist, I did my job. I let a person talk. As a journalist, you're supposed to have no opinion, no options, none of that. I would have been the better journalist that I am. I would have probably not drunk. I would have probably stayed sober the whole time right. and just stayed on the subject. Because I still, I still believe you know, people have a right to speak, you know, whether it's something that you agree with or not. I'm mm. not the best journalist in the world. I've been on record saying that Nori is being a good friend, but not a good journalist. So him addressing this was smart on his part, especially with him previously saying that Joe owns drink champs with them. Then, of course, Cuban can't be on the show. Now, secondly, Nori decided to address the Illuminati in this clip, saying just because he won't interview certain people, it doesn't make him Illuminati. And I don't personally think he is, but but it doesn't help with the clips we've seen of him talking about being approached by someone from there and this clip from Joe. Now this clip just shows Nori performing his famous song Super Thug, but it was the caption from Joe welcoming Nori to the Illuminati and kind of making light of it that really draws that kind of energy to him. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this man. Do you think Nori did the right thing coming out and addressing this? Put your thoughts down in the comments and make sure you like and subscribe and stay connected with Panda Chop News. Peace!